well explain why this site was abandoned. These natural caverns likely were not worth the risk of traversing. Explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts. Adrian sent you. She's... did... did she look okay? Sounds like Adrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. So what exactly did she have you bring me? Terramorph attack, huh? Not exactly sure why you'd be bringing that... Wait, Tau Gourmet? Like, Tau Seti Tau Gourmet? That's a joke, right? There's no settlement old enough on Tau Seti to have a Terramorph. Either someone's setting up the worst petting zoo in the universe, or... If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. I've got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the trade authority got the bits of the but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of the day. All queued up. Let's gaze into this a bit, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? 
Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was a city wiped completely off the map by terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack, but the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talcetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. The chances for survival, let alone maintaining any kind of functioning society, would be slim indeed. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Because until now... The Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means, but I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. Music to my ears. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Sometimes it seems the UC does not remember its history is tied to this place. yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. 
Lou said we could use the back. Was that Percival walking through there with you? Oh, oh, glad to see he's still kicking. Not a lot of folks would have stuck their necks out for a stranger like that. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just glad you both came through it intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news, that's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti, with both of us. Well, when the colony war came to a close 19 years ago, with the signing of the Armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Freestar, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the Armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. No. We were both dismissed after the war for what we did. These days, we're just concerned citizens. With a very particular area of expertise. Our damage has been done for a long time. Oh. You already knew. I... I'm sorry about that. It didn't seem relevant in the moment, and well, it's... It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, It'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, 
how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Because the Terramorph project was doomed from the start. Terramorphs are too mean, too smart, too hungry to be used in combat. Trust us, we tried. The data that's in the archives, it's historical write-ups, anatomical notation, food chain analyses. I doubt they would have even classified it if it didn't have a Xeno Warfare logo on it. You have my word, it's not a threat. I mean, I hope they will, given the evidence we've acquired. But getting the Freestar Collective and House Varun on our side, that won't be easy. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So, it's going to be up to us to get them on board. All right. I'm going to go get this work up into the Cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are going to need it. Yes, indeed. It's a satisfying moment to return to your ship.
Checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. The Best not to leave anything so useful behind. Good. Spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed. My attention. Need to see what I'm care.
labeled as spacers for a variety of reasons. None of them are flattering. Do they have anything of value? Die today.
Where have they gone? Cowards. What is it? If I can take a few things. Wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed! Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Livy, and I mean you, uh, no harm. This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopened. It's true. So many of my crewmates are gone. And this corridor is the worst. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. Five? Six? It's hard to find... Uh, volunteers. I really thought we had it with M. Mantis. Ah, oh, poor Fred. What? Well, nobody else here figured that out. See? I've been helpful. You... you could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this Mantis thinks. Please, let me help. And just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. You realize that, of course, you cannot actually trust him. No! No! Spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something.
didn't look good. But it was Mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised she remembered she even had a son. It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret base on Denabolo 1B. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my god. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much.
worse things to deal with than spacers, but we should not let our guard down. Do you need something? I am happy to help shoulder them.
there's something amiss. I am always willing to carry an... That is all. Very well. what you must, leave the rest for the scavengers. My sensors have detected.
I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? Hello. Very good.
I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. At least there, the predators are easier to spot. <laughs> <laughs> 